we're working on comparing characters. So we're going to use our wrinkle in time that we've been reading and compare characters using support from the text. Anytime you're asked to use support from the text, it means you need to provide examples or evidence from the book or passage that you've read to explain those things that you're comparing. So as we look at two of our main characters, we've got Meg and Charles Wallace, we're going to use this Venn diagram to compare and contrast them. So let's start with Meg. We know that Meg is an early teenager. She's probably 12 or 13. She really kind of feels like an outcast at school. She doesn't feel like she fits in with everybody else. Part of that is because she misses her father terribly. She has She's having a really hard time with that. She's angry that he's disappeared. Um, but in addition to those feelings about her father being gone, she also has a really hard time trusting herself. So as she goes on this journey, we're seeing Meg start to grow and start to be a leader among the group. Charles Wallace, on the other hand, is much younger. He's five, but even though he's only five and he is um, Meg's younger brother, he is what we call prodigious. Do you remember that vocabulary word from last week? That means he's very smart for his age. So though he might be five, he doesn't act like a typical five-year-old. He knows the Mrs. Witches the best, Mrs. Who, Mrs. What's It, all of those. He also understands Meg really well, probably better than Meg really understands herself at this point. And Charles Wallace always seems to feel strong self-confidence. Um, one example from the book might be when he just marches off, well, let's go then. And he's the one who's always ready to push through first. He's very confident and comfortable with who he is and what he knows. So those are the differences between them. Note the differences in their attitudes towards themselves, um, in their attitudes towards the disappearance of their father. I didn't add on here, but we could add that Charles Wallace doesn't really know their father. He was so young when their father disappeared. But though they have many differences, they also have a lot of similarities. They are both siblings. That's something I could have added on here. They're both on this journey to save their father. And in different ways, they're both being really brave. There are times when Charles Wallace says he's just trying to be brave, even though he may not know exactly what's going on. He uses that self-confidence that he has. Meg is trying to be brave as she seeks to be a leader and seeks to understand why she's the one who needs to be on this journey and what she can offer that the others may not be able to. So as we compare characters, you want to think about the details, not only of um, their basics, like what they might look like or their age and things, start to think about the things that they do um, in the book, in the story, and help us to get to know them a little bit more. So that's one way to compare. There's many other characters that we can work on comparing as well. Thanks, fifth grade.